introduce our next speaker, candidate for governor, to run against Andrew Cuomo. He has been an outspoken Second Amendment advocate. When the SAFE Act was passed, he spoke out against the SAFE Act. His opponent used that against him in the campaign and was soundly defeated when he won the second term for executive of Westchester County. I'd like to introduce to you today Rob Astorino, candidate for New York State. was talking about. You don't look like extremists. You look like great New Yorkers. It is great to be with all of you here today. I love what you're doing. I love that you're standing up for the Second Amendment and the First Amendment as well. Your right to be here to protest what you think the government did wrong. There is nothing un-American about that. I love Carl, but Carl's crazy if he doesn't think we can win this race. We are going to win this race, and I'll tell you why. I am here running because I think this state has gone terribly wrong. We are losing as a state. We are losing our citizens at an alarming measure to other states. And why are they going? They're going because the taxes are way too high. The jobs are not here. We have the most corruption in that building. And we can do a lot better. We can grow our economy. And people are leaving this state not just for the jobs that left. Not just because it's oppressive here in taxes. They're leaving this state because our freedoms are being taken away little by little. And the unsafe act was the first thing that's got to go. I don't know if you noticed, but if you went to the state capitol building, the grounds, did you see all the barricades up? Something tells me they're not up to help the grass grow. Something tells me they're up to keep you away. Well, I will say this. We want Andrew Cuomo to take down those barricades, but he won't. But we will take those barricades down, and we will take him down in November. Now, if there's anyone that questions my commitment to your rights, to our rights on the Second Amendment, let me just tell you what happened this past year in Westchester County, where I was crucified by our Democratic opponent, who had the backing of Andrew Cuomo and his money, Two and a half million dollars in advertising, pummeling me every day because I had the nerve to stick up for your rights with the Second Amendment. We brought the county gun show back for the first time in 10 years. I called out the governor on the Unsafe Act for exactly what it is, and we said, scrap that act. It does nothing to make us safer. Do what we did in Westchester, and that is focus on the real issues of violence and deal with the mental health breakdown in our system. That's where we need to put our focus on, not turning law-abiding citizens into law-breakers. That's what he's trying to do here. So we did the right thing. We focused on the children of our county, how to make our schools safer, how to make our children safer, our buildings safer, but also what is causing the mental health breakdown in our society and in our county that lets somebody get a weapon and do what they did in all these massacres. Or it could just be everyday little things that we have turned our back on those in our mental health community that need the help. So we focus on two things, absenteeism, if a child is not in school, the likelihood that they're going to succeed in life diminishes greatly. So we have to make sure our kids are in school and we have to deal with the issues that keep them out of school, whether it's violence in the household, sexual abuse, bullying, it could be anything. We also need to worry about the children who we don't know how to deal with. 
13 to 18 year old youth, 20%, 20% are gonna at one point in their life deal with a debilitating mental health issue. And we know what to do when our children fall down and cut their knee. We put a Band-Aid on it, we know how to react. But when a child is withdrawn, or talking about violence or suicide, we turn away. We don't know how to deal with that. Those are the warning signs and the cries for help. That's what we need to work on so these kids get the help that they deserve so they grow up to be good citizens, not dangerous ones. That's what we worked on, safer communities in Westchester. We dealt with the problem. We didn't want a headline overnight that does nothing to solve the problem except make all of you illegal. We wanted to make sure that we took care of the problem in Westchester. That's how we dealt with what happened in Sandy Hook. We will do that here in the state. I heard about Cuomo's Common Core here before. Someone yelled about Common Core. That's a whole separate issue we could have a rally on one day. But we did not have our kids take the test today because the Common Core is something that we need to scrap and deal with different and better standards locally controlled here in New York in our own communities, not with faceless bureaucrats in Washington, D.C. So here's how you can help, because we can win this race. In fact, we will win this race. And you can make it happen. You can make it happen. If there's anybody in this rally today that's not registered to vote, shame on you. You have months to do so, and please make sure you register to vote. You talk to everyone in your family, everyone in your gun club, everyone in your hunting club, everyone you're buddies with. Make sure you register to vote. Because all of Andrew Cuomo's money can't take away your power at the ballot box. So if you want to make a difference, register to vote. Join us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Be part of our campaign. The movement starts here. It ends on election night in all of your communities. And you want to show the biggest surprise in the world to that guy over there? Let's beat him in November and put an end to this kind of stuff. His average contribution is about $27,000. We'll take your $27. We'll take your $270. We'll take anything. So make sure you join our team, be part of our team in every little neighborhood. Upstate New York is going to determine this election. 44, 44 to 50% of the total vote statewide comes from upstate New York. It's in your power, folks. He took away your rights, you take away his job. Thank you. to introduce you to Governor Rob Astorino. And you know what? He was telling you like it is. You have to donate to help him win. You know Cuomo's got like millions and millions and millions and millions and all that other stuff. Not only does he need your vote, but he needs your dollars. We know that you have to be realistic, so help him out. Rob, give them your website again. Tell them how they can help you out. RobAstorino.com. That's an easy one. Join us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Go to Astorino.tv, where we're putting out videos all the time. Share them with your friends. This is going to be one on social media and door to door. Not Cuomo's billions that he's going to spend on TV. The power is with you. Let's show them this is how it's done. Let's show the whole country we could do it right here in New York. All right. Um, if you're 